Hi everyone, in today's video, I will share with you 5 quick Excel hacks that feel like magic, perfect for speeding up your daily tasks. So let's begin with our today's tutorial. Here in this sheet, you can see I have some information about the products, their quantity and unit price and then there is a column H that contains the formula. And I want to copy this column here in the second table but the challenge is I do not want to change the reference of formula cells. For example, this is my G7 to F7 and my last row is G11 to F11 and I want to see the same reference cells here. So let me show you a quick way to copy the formula column somewhere else with same references. First select this column and from the keyboard press Ctrl H. In define word type equal to and in replace with type a word that is not available in the worksheet. Otherwise when we do the reverse that word will also get affected. To be cautious I am going to type here not in file and click on replace all. Press OK and close this window. Now copy these entries and let's paste them here by pressing Ctrl V. Now select this column again, press Ctrl and select this column and press Ctrl H from the keyboard. Now here we are going to do the reverse. In find word type, not in file and in replace with type equal to and click on replace all. Now here the reference is G7 into F7 and again here the reference is G7 and F7. So if we make any change in this table, the same change will be reflected here. So if you like this trick, then don't forget to hit like to the video. Now let's move towards our second trick. In this case, you can see I have a percentage symbol with my percentages and I want to remove it. So in order to do this type 1 in any empty cell in the sheet. Then place your cursor over here and press ctrl C from the keyboard. Then select this column and from the keyboard press ctrl alt V. And here in the operation section use the option divide and press ok. And here you can see that the percentage signs have been removed. Now here you can see I have percentages but without the percentage sign and I want the percentage sign here. So if we select this range and press Ctrl 1 from the keyboard and try to use this percentage option then you can see that we will not get our desired results. So in order to resolve this issue in a similar manner as we did before type 1% in any empty cell in the sheet. Then Place your cursor over it and press Ctrl C from the keyboard. Then select this entire range and from the keyboard press Ctrl Alt V. And this time we will choose multiply and press OK. And see how quickly the percentage signs have been appeared with the numbers. So if you like this trick then don't forget to ping a positive comment in the comment section. Now let's move towards our third trick. In this example, you can see that I have information separated across different rows and I want to filter it region wise. So let's quickly filter it first. Press Ctrl Shift L to apply filters and from the region, I am going to choose South. And let's press OK. Now our task is to copy this filtered data to some other position. So in order to do this, first select this information Press Ctrl G from the keyboard, go to specials and select visible cells only and click OK. Here you can see that all the visible cells have got highlighted. Then go to your keyboard and press Ctrl C and move to the position where you want to copy them. Let's say we want to copy them here and then press Ctrl V and here you can see that your required filter information has been pasted perfectly. Now let's move towards our next example. In this example, I have information about sales values in different regions and I want to sum them. But the problem is the area where I want to apply the sum operation is basically the combination of merge cells. So let me show you a quick way to do the operations in merged cells. First of all, select this range and press Ctrl G from the keyboard. Then click on special and from here choose blanks and press ok. 
Now you are not supposed to click anywhere otherwise your selected cells will get deselected. Straight go to your keyboard and start typing equal to and type the formula of sum, start the parenthesis and then choose this range. Let's choose the range of north region, close the parenthesis and now you are not supposed to press enter, rather you will press control and then press enter. And here you can see the sum of all the values in different regions has been appeared here. So if you like this trick, then do mention your opinion in the comment section. Now let's move towards our last trick. Here the challenge is to generate IDs in this format. So this is basically our alphanumeric IDs. Here you can see that in this combination, some text is constant while other will change its value. So our first task is to generate a sequence of numbers. Let's say I want to generate IDs in this format for 1000 students. So first let's generate a list of 1000 numbers. You can use the sequence function but I am going to use the series feature of Excel because I personally like formula free solutions. So in order to use series function let's type 1 here and then place your cursor over 1 and from the keyboard let's press Alt E I S. And in this window, let's choose columns and in the stop value, I am going to give 1000 and press OK. Our next task is to convert these serial numbers in this format. So in order to do this, first select the number column and press Ctrl 1 from the keyboard. Here in the custom tab, go to type and remove this general by using backspace from the keyboard. Here. We will type the constant part within the quotation marks. So begin quotation marks and let's type stu dash id dash and then close the quotation marks because this thing will remain constant in our IDs. And then add zeros depending upon the digits you need in your IDs. So this is basically going to be a four digit number. So I'm going to add four zeros here and then press OK. And here you can see how quickly your IDs have been generated in the required format. If you want to learn more tips and tricks to make your work easier, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is all for today. Stay blessed. Stay happy.